feet repeticus is the uh, sweet tea mousy order which we get from the oral cavity of patients with um, advanced uh, liver disease which is decompensated often in the stage of hepatic encephalopathy and this is equated with the smell of a corpse because it gives a very strong but at the same time a sort of a sporty pungent order now as i told you it, uh, it usually occurs in patients with very advanced liver disease complicated by hepatic encephalopathy now established reason for this uh, sweety order is mercaptans mercaptans are basically sulfur containing compounds which are often called thiols and these are formed due to gut metabolism in advanced liver disease these are not metabolized by the liver and therefore they escape into the systemic circulation and uh, since they are volatile they diffuse across the alveolar capillary membrane and they come through the lungs to the oral cavity new evidence is pointing that it is due to a substance called dimethyl sulfide is the reason for fetal hepaticus and they have uh, also suggested this substance to be uh, uh, could be a potential marker for uh, early hepatic encephalopathy or a subclinical hepatic encephalopathy regarding spider navy we need to ask at least few questions uh, to ourselves about this particular condition because this is relatively frequently seen in clinical practice how does it look like where is it seen and why it occurs and does it give any clue for an impending complication the answer to the first question is straight away there it looks like uh, a something like a spider with a central arteriole with extending uh, branches which resembles the limbs of the spider and uh, it is reddish in color with a central dark central arteriole and diffuse reticular branches it is often seen in the uh, svc region that's what the literature describes but we do see it in the entire upper trunk and also in the back the reason for its occurrence in svc region has been described as the the smaller caliber of the um, superficial blood vessels there but again there is no clear proof for that it occurs due to the shunted steroidal estrogen precursor causing the arterial dilatation and uh, earlier literature have shown that uh, in a in a patient who is having multiple spider navy like more than 20 the frequency of variceal bleed is around 50% but um, and size more than 15 uh, 1.5 cm or 15 mm correlates with a very high presence of um variceal bleed but uh, given the practice at this point of time where we do check the presence of variceal varices in any patient with chronic liver disease the spider navy being a predictor of variceal bleed is less relevant differential diagnosis includes venous star which is seen predominantly in the uh, lower limb in the pelvis or thigh region in patients with heart failure and uh, you have one more condition called uh, campbell de morgny spot which are nothing but uh, angiot fibroma there will be cherry red spot seen on the abdominal wall and commonly in elderly individuals and it increases in number as the age increases it is not blanchable you can palpate it as a firm a reddish nodule on the skin so it is easy to differentiate a spider angioma from both venous star and campbell de morgny spots you can see more videos on signs of liver disease and many other clinical videos in this channel